Can you tell me how a box of six thousand years ago first man lived in this location? And it's number four. That's what he do. Attack. So, Hatun. Get down. Since you don't have any civilization, you don't have any history. Look at that. Muslims have to show me. Where let's there is debate. any reference let's for Mecca I said, let's prior to the 8th century AD, notice the date I'm giving. Prior to 741, where is there any reference to Mecca? You are no kidding. You should start from the 6th century. Time of Muhammad. I'm not even saying 7th century. I'm saying 8th century. Muhammad died in the 7th century. I there was you, no Mecca at the time of Muhammad. I saw you. There was no Mecca Jesus, at the time of Abraham. If, if there was no Mecca at the time of Muhammad, where did Muhammad born? If there was no time, no, there was no place called Mecca at the time of Muhammad. Where did Muhammad receive his revelation? You have to have the city. In order for Muhammad to be there, you have to have the city. In order for the Quran to be revealed there, you have to have the city. In order for the entire narrative, the standard Islamic narrative is dependent on Mecca, is it not? Mecca to Muhammad and to the Quran. For the Quran, for Muhammad, for Islam, they have to have Mecca. So, then why are you not in Mecca in this land? Mr. Muslim! Mr. Muslim! Come down on debate! Mr. Muslim! Come down! You can't! You can't! Mr. Muslim! Mr. Muslim. Look, they can't stop it! Where is Mecca? Where is Mecca? Come here! 100% prepared! Where is Mecca? Debate! Where is Mecca? Real simple! Where is Mecca? Show me where Mecca is! No, 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 do you want to Let's hear debate. him? Let's debate. Let's debate. Okay, let's see if he knows it. So where is Mecca? Mecca prior to the 8th century? I tell you, so me Show me where Mecca so is prior to the 8th century. So he the doesn't know. So he doesn't want to talk so about this. So because Muslims so don't have an answer for this. I find it amazing. I am, we are asking the question. Where is the birthplace of your prophet? Where is the birthplace of your faith? Now, he Hattun, wants Hattun. Me to they could respond and they could say, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Do you have Bethlehem for Jesus? Do we know where Jesus was born? He was born in Bethlehem. Did it exist at the time of the first century? Yes, it was. And people today can go and visit. They go and visit it, right? Yeah. You can go there. It's been there for 2,000 years. More than that. I want people to look at the map. Can you see the problem with Mecca? It has no water, no vegetation. No people, and therefore no history. There is no debate that the Muslims can throw back. Because in order for the Muslims to respond, they've got to show us where Mecca exists prior to the 8th century. And they cannot do that so far. Then my problem would be, actually problem of Muslims would be, if Mecca is not exist, where did Muhammad born? If Mecca is not exist, where did Muhammad receive this revelation? If Mecca is not exist, why Quran is and Islamic tradition is talking about a location which is not existing? Okay, hold on a minute. Now, are we attacking Islam today? No, We're no, asking no, a no, historical no, question, are no, we come, not? Come, 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 are we permitted to ask no, this no, question no, at Speaker's Corner? Yes. Absolutely. This is one of the last places where we can ask this question, right, Hatun? I find it very strange. Muslim is asking you to come down. Lord Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, come down to this earth. What you did, you ran farther from him. And now what you do is, you walk away. Why? Because there are questions about Islam and you don't want to answer. No Muslim can find an answer to the question of Mecca. But hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. If Mecca did not exist, perhaps we can go back to the 7th century and we can ask the civilizations that existed at that time. Let's look at all the civilizations from around Mecca. You know these, these are all historical. So look at 
the first to exist is Saba and Himyar. And what is today Yemen? Did they know about Mecca? No, they did not. No reference to Mecca in those two civilizations. What about the Himyarites? The Himyarites in the Hadramat, in what is today Oman and Yemen. Did they know about Mecca? Not a word. No reference. Hold on a minute. What about the Western Arabia? That is where Mecca is situated. Did they know about Mecca? Not one word. What about Central Western Arabia, just north of Mecca, where Tema Te 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 is? Did they know about Mecca, Hatun? It seems no, but the problem, but the problem is, the problem is, if Adam is sent to Mecca, if Muhammad was born in Mecca and received his revelation, why no one is talking about this wonderful place? Why not? If it is historical, if it existed at the time of Adam and Eve, according to chapter 21 in the Quran, Abraham lived in Mecca. So that's 1900 BC. There has to be someone, somewhere, that knows about this place. Let's continue on. Did the patriarchs know about Mecca? No, they did not. Did the Assyrians, or the Babylonians, or the Roman Empire, is there any reference to Mecca in any of their writings from the 4th century BC, from the 3rd century BC, from the 2nd century BC, up until the 1st century AD? Not a word! Not a word! What about the Persians over here? Did they know about Mecca? Not a word. What about the Eastern Arabians? Do you notice we covered almost a complete circle and no one knew about Mecca. Not one word anywhere. So when was Mecca created? You want to know the dates, don't you? Yes. You want to know when it was? Yeah. Hatun, do you know the date? 745, 900? 741. 741, it is first mentioned, 900, it's first time end up in the map. The first time you see it on a map is not till 900 AD. The first time it has a refer reference to it is not till 741 AD. When did Muhammad die? Uh, last time when I checked, 632, but... This... That's the standard Islamic narrative tells you that. Yeah, so according to Islamic tradition, Muhammad died in 632. Standard Islamic narrative, S-I-N. Muhammad died in 632. Mecca ended up in Map 900. So how many years? Over 270 years. Muhammad was there while Mecca is not there. Jesus! Don't you love that name? Who is the King of Kings? You can listen. I can hear you, can you listen. Uh, from 15 kilometers. Oh, you know your, oh, your voice. Tell us where Mecca is. Tell us where the Mecca is. Where the Mecca is. Where the Mecca is. Thank you very much. Okay, can you see that, Hatun? This is a problem, is it not? It is a problem. 
problem, but let me just plug in something. We look at the Bible, and then from the Bible, we get things out. Abraham traveled 17 different locations, and Mecca is not one of them. So Abraham never went to Mecca. Adam never went to Mecca. And why did they not go to Mecca? It wasn't existing. There was no water there. If there's no water, there's no vegetation. If there's no vegetation, there are no people. If there are no people, there's no towns. There's no cities. There's no civilization. It has no history. That's why they didn't go to Mecca. So where did Abraham go? I am going to ask the Jew, where did Abraham go? To Jerusalem, right? To Canaan, right? To your land, right? Just say yes. Agree with me on this. He thinks As that's the funny. The Christian agrees. He thinks He's that's about funny. Me. He thinks that's funny. Hey. So they don't have Mecca. They can't have Muhammad. They can't have the Quran. That's right. Okay. So now let let let's ask once again. Do the coins. Let's give them one more option. One more opportunity. Let's give them one more opportunity, Mr. Muslim. Where is Mecca? Where is Mecca before Muhammad? No? No answer. Yes, let's go to the coins. Let's go to the coins now. Okay, folks. I want you to look at this map. To understand if anybody existed in the 7th century, way down here, you need to go to the coins. Because the coins are from that time. The coins are from not that area, they're from all up here. Why are there no coins down here? Because these people, according to the standard Islamic narrative, they owned all that part of the land, right? Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, Ali, the four caliphs, they controlled this whole area. Then why are there no coins from down here? All the coins are from up north. Okay, when you say down here, your you Bible, mean Mecca and Medina. Your Bible, what's that? Testify you against down you. Here, your you Bible Mecca. testify and against Medina. you. Yeah. And so here is Mecca. Why the they of don't the have any coins the Bible about from Mecca. Mecca? But this That's guy, the but there are no well known, there are well known a liar, deceiver, from that time and from people, that place. They and they do always speak and they do tell us what is happening in 630. 640, 630, yeah, 650, 640. 660. Yeah. That is 30 years after Muhammad died. And guess what they're telling us? I can dance to that. I can dance to that if you want me to. But can you see why they don't want you to hear this? Because this is historical. We're not making this up. You go look at the coins. And what do they tell us? That all the people in this area, they were Christians. There were no Muslims that early. And all the people here, they were Zoroastrian. There were no Muslims at that time. That's it. Why is that a problem? Why is that a problem? And see, coins are great because they don't disintegrate, they don't deteriorate. They're made out of gold, they're made out of copper, they're made out of silver. They're as good today as the day they were minted. And they all mention and they all have crosses on them. Now who does that suggest to you? If they have cross, who is it? Jesus. It is Jesus. These are Christians. Muslims do not put crosses on their coins. There is no name called Abu Bakr on these coins. There is no one called Umar on these coins. There is nobody called Uthman on these coins. There is nobody called Ali. But hold on a minute. There are, there is someone called Moawiyah. Moawiyah is the first name that we recognize. Now, Hatu, was Moawiyah a Muslim according to the standard Islamic narrative? Yes, according to the standard Islamic narrative, he was a Muslim. Okay. He ruled in Damascus. What's on his coins? 
I actually no, I do know. Actually. Eight forty-two. No way. Yeah, yeah, All of these coins that are minted here have crosses on them. All the coins that are minted here have fire altars, Zoroastrian fire altars. What does that tell you, Hatu? Uh, it's all, it seems all pagan to me, Jay. Not Muslim, are they? It's all pagan to me. <laughs> These are Christian coins. These are Christian leaders. They are all speaking Arabic. They all lived after Muhammad. They're in the same area that Muhammad supposedly lived. And now one of them is a Muslim. According to the coins. Now Muslims, prove me wrong. Show me a coin with Muhammad's name on it. Show me a coin with Abu Bakr or Umar or Uthman, all his name on it. From 7th century. 7th century. These are all 7th century coins. So, so far, we cannot find the location. And you know that Mecca is I'll, I'll come to that. And I'll, come to that. I'll come to that. I'll come to that. I'll come to your Mecca. No worries. No worries. Mecca is mentioned in the Bible. We will come to that. But so far, what we have is, we don't have Mecca as a location which is in the map, which Adam is supposed to go, Abraham is supposed to go, and Muhammad is supposed to live. And what we're seeing there, as we move to the seventh century, we don't see coins contains the leaders of the Muslims. No Muhammad, no Ali, no Umar, no Uthman, no Abu Bakr. No reference to Muhammad as well. We don't find any reference to Muhammad on any of these coins, but they do, and they are Arab, and they are from the 7th century, and all of them are Christian coins, proving that even Islam didn't exist that early. So, folks, if you want to argue with me, you can, but you've got to argue with the coins. That shows that there are holes in the narrative in Islam. Not only there are holes in the narrative in the Quran, but there are holes in the narrative of Islam. We'll get to this. I want to look at the rock in Scripture. So we've looked at the map. We've looked at the coins. Let's now go to the rock inscription. Why are rock inscriptions so important? But they are the physical evidence for us to see what was claimed in those days. They are rocks, right? And rocks pretty much stay pristine, don't they? And from the 7th century, there are 60,000 of these rock inscriptions. 60,000 rock inscriptions. Muslims, you got to show me on any of these 60,000 rock inscriptions the name Muhammad on them, the name Islam on them, the name Mecca on them, the reference to a Quran on them. You cannot find it. And yet there's 60,000 of them. I'm waiting for the Muslims to come up with the evidence. Can you see why they can't debate it? So what do the rock inscriptions tell us? When did my Islam begin? You don't get any reference on the rock inscription to a religion called Islam until 730. When did Muhammad die? So Muhammad died 632. If you are getting the reference to Islam from 730, that's approximately 98 years. That's a hundred, that's a century later. That's a century later. 98 years. 98 to be exact. When is the first reference to Muhammad as a prophet on the rock inscriptions? Not till 740. That's even 110 years or 108 years after Muhammad's death. Is that a problem for you folks? Can you see why we're bringing this to Speaker's Corner? And can you see why the Muslims do not know how to defend this? How would you defend this? Unless you can find rock inscriptions Your with these references on it. Followers. So where are they? Muslims Nobody should be disturbed Nobody that there is for 100 years there is no reference to your prophet, there is no reference to Islam, there is no reference to Mecca. That should be disturbing. That should disturb every one of you Muslims. Those who are watching this right now, you're going to see what we're saying. You've seen what we're doing on DCCI and on Fander Films. Everything we're saying today is going to be up tonight or tomorrow on Fander Films, Hudson, right? You're going to put it on DCCI. You will see all this on DCCI. 
BCCI. I'll see you on tonight. Hutty, you're not sure you're going to put this on. I'm joking. I'm now, kidding. I want everybody to look at yeah, this yeah, picture. Yeah, yeah, look at this. Look. What is this picture? Oh, shit. What's your 21st century Mecca. There is the Kaaba there, let right? Let me hold it. Let me hold it. The most holy shrine in Islam. Islam. What do you notice that the Muslims are doing to the Kaaba? Notice all the buildings that they're building. Notice all the huge buildings. You and when you build buildings that you tall, are a coward. the fourth you are highest a coward. building you in the world. You are a coward. Listen you to me. You, you are a coward. Do I look like a coward? You are. You are. Do I look like a coward? You are. You are. Jesus you are. in my strength. I have Jesus. I need no other. Jesus is the great shepherd. Jesus is the great Jesus is the one we are belong to. We don't need anyone else. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus is sufficient enough. Why are the people? What's his name? Yeah, yeah. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. I've asked the question. No, no. Let's see if you can answer it. No, no. Let's see if you can answer it. Can you prove that there's a Mecca before the 8th century? Can you prove there's a Mecca before the 8th century? Let's see if you can answer that. Are we going to listen to him that there's Mecca before the 8th century? Right now. Right now. Read Isaiah 42, 1 to 16. It gives you it give you the location. He gives you the location. He Why wants to go to the Bible. Let, let him go to the Bible. Let's 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 go to the Bible. Let's
Isaiah 42, 1 to 4, Lord Jesus Christ fulfills this in Matthew 12. Remember, Lord Jesus Christ brought his new law. Verse 5. This is what God, God the Lord says. He who created them, he created the heavens and the scratched them out, who spread out the earth and all that comes out of it, who gives bread to its people and life to those who walk on it. I, the Lord, I have called you, by, called you in righteousness. I will take hold in your hand. I will keep you and I will make you to be a covenant for the people Jesus. and life for the Gentiles. For Lord Gentiles. Jesus Christ the is the covenant and light to the Gentiles. The Gentiles. Isaiah chapter 9. America, to open the eyes that are blind and free, free captives from prison and to release from dungeon those who sit in darkness. Now Hutton, Lord who opened Jesus, the eyes that were blind? Lord Jesus Christ opened the eyes blinded. Yes. He Even the Quran the, agrees with that in chapter 3, verse 49. He set the captives free, versus Muhammad. Blinded Muhammad people did just the who opposite. were seeing. <laughs> Muhammad, <laughs> captive people who were free. Jesus! Can you see this is all about Jesus? Are you following it? I love this. Go ahead. I am the Lord, that is my name. Okay, hold on, say that again. I am the Lord. That is my name. Who can call himself Lord? Jesus. What's his name again? Jesus. Only Jesus can call himself Lord, right? Yes. Is this talking about Jesus? Yes. Thank you. Continue on. Thank Muhammad you. never called himself Lord. Don't call it shirk. I am the Lord. That is my name. I will not give my glory to another oh. or my praise to idols. Oh. Are you sure Isaiah 42? See, the formal things have taken place, and new things I declare. Before they spring into being, I announce them to you. Sing to the Lord, Lord, a new song. His praise from the ends of earth. What's the new song? Let me, let me, let me, let me say it. Let me repeat again. Let Did me Muhammad again. sing anything? No. I was going to say The that. Muslims, are they permitted to sing? No. So who can sing to Jesus? We can. Do we sing a new song? Yes. Every week at Speaker's Corner, we yes. sing a new song. New song. Through Hatun Tosh. Yes. You know. Here we go. Sing. Continue on. Sing to the Lord. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I am reading, I am reading the word of Allah. So the word of God, shush. Respect to the word of God. Sing to the Lord a new song. Yeah. Muhammad, come and ban the music. His praises from the ends of the earth. You who you go know, down to the sea and all that is in it, America, you no islands and all who live in them, let the desert America, and its towns raise their voices. America. Let the settlement where Kedar lives America. rejoice. America. Let the people of Salah sing for joy. America. Let them shout from the mountain tops. Tops. Let them give glory to the Lord and proclaim His praise to the islands. The Lord will march out like a mi march out like a mighty man, like a warrior. He will stir up his zeal with a shout. He will raise the battle cry and she didn't read the dark. And she read the dark. For a long time. Right. We're reading scripture. Yeah, yeah, For quiet, quiet, a long quiet. time, I have kept silent. I have been quiet and held myself back. But now, like a woman in childbirth, I cry out. I gasp and pant. I will lay waste the mountains and the hills and dry up all their vegetations. I will turn the rivers into islands and dry up the roadblocks. I will lift the blind by the ways they have not known. Along the unfamily paths, I will guide them. I will turn the darkness into the light before them.
and to make rough place smooth. Okay, his turn. No, his turn. Okay, where was Mecca there first? Did you hear Mecca? Hello, hello. But did it talk about Jesus? Did it talk about giving sight to the blind? Is that not what Jesus did? Did he help the poor? No, I have to back to you. So where is Mecca here? Yeah, yeah, where is Mecca? Where is Mecca? Where is Mecca? Kidar, Kidar is a progeny of me, of who is my the son of Abraham. Where is Kedar? Where is Kedar? Where is Kedar? Where is Kedar? Okay, go ahead. Let's talk about Kedar. What do you know about Kedar? Problem is, Kedar is a place where people are singing. Kedar is not a person. Read Isaiah 21. Now, we identified Kedar is a place. Now, tell us where Mecca is. Okay, Islam 84, 4, No, 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 no. Where is Mecca? He's going to jump from verse to verse to verse to verse. Where, where is Mecca? No, no. Listen. In Isaiah 42. Look, look, look. I told you. Where is Mecca in Isaiah 42? We're still where waiting. Is Mecca? Where is Mecca in Isaiah 42? Do you want to hear the answer? Yes. Give them the answer. Go ahead, young man. And Kedar is not it. Because Kedar is where they sing. No Muslim sings. You cannot sing as a Muslim. So that cannot be Mecca. Go ahead. No, also he thinks Kedar is a person. He doesn't think it's a place. Talk about a new song, which is Arabic. Talk about a prophet. A prophet. Okay, Arabic is a song. This is desperation. No, no, it's not desperation. This is desperation. I to you. And I this is the you. problem with Muslims like Yahya. I he to doesn't you. know how to answer the question. I listen to you. We have asked a very simple question today. Have you noticed? We asked him for one piece of historical evidence for Mecca in the seventh century. You can look at coins. You can look at rock inscriptions. You can look at buildings. You can look at manuscripts. He has gone back to Isaiah 42. We have read from verse 1 to 15. We could not find Mecca there. Now he's trying to say Kedar is a man. Do you believe Kedar is a man? Kedar is a man, but in Isaiah Kedar is a place. It's a place in Isaiah 42. So, so let, 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 let me just bring up something that everyone's attention. Attention, Yahya. Attention, Yahya. No, no, Isaiah, hello, hello. Yeah, yeah. Isaiah you 42, you Isaiah 42 is all about Lord Jesus Christ. Right, right, right. Lord Jesus Christ, King of Kings, right, right, right. King of becomes kings. servant and dwells among us. There you King go. of Kings comes and gives his life for us. Yeah, yeah. King of Kings hey. gives us his spirit. Hey. King of Kings gives us his new law. King of Kings makes a covenant with people. Kings of King is the covenant. King of King is the light of the Gentiles. Jesus! Jesus it's all King about King. Jesus. King of Kings open the eyes of eyes of blind. Versus Muhammad made people blind. King of Kings freed people who were captives. Muhammad captive people. Can you please? A coin. Can you please? Can you please? Reference. Any reference? Can you please? For Mecca. Can you please? Can you please? Piece of literature. Hello. Can you please? So here we go. Can you please? Now can you see what we've done today? We've asked for evidence. They haven't come up with evidence. We've asked for him to find in scripture. We went to the scripture he went to in Isaiah 42. Lo and behold, everything we read there is about Jesus Christ. Why are we surprised? Because all the Bible is about Jesus Christ. It all points to the Messiah. It all points to he who calls himself Lord, as Jesus calls himself Lord. I usually, I usually don't do that, but I want to hate Muslims. I want to hate Muslims, and I want to tell them where is Mecca in the Bible. Yeah, yeah. Listen to this very She's gonna help you. I'm helping you. She's gonna help you. Yes, I don't want help. Yes, you do. You need a lot of help. Go on. I want to go, Yahya. Stop. 
84, four, go ahead. 84, four, six, Islam. Read it for me, please. Because yeah, yeah we've answered start, your question. We're going to move on. Let her go. She's going to go to scripture. On. You are moving on. I'm not moving on. Thank God we're moving on. You've got to move on, Yahya. You've got to move to our Lord Jesus Christ, Now, people, do you want to hear Yahya or do you want to hear us? You want to hear what the evidence is, right? Because this is the evidence you're not going to hear from Muslims. This is the evidence you're not going to hear from anybody else but here at Speaker's Corner because we have the freedom to do it. Go ahead. If you ever come across with a Muslim who tells you that Mecca is in the Bible, this is where they're supposed to go. If they don't go there, they do take them there. Mecca is mentioned in the Bible. She's one of them. But he is the, he is the references. Why, why don't Leviticus you chapter 26, why don't you verse 21. Yeah. Numbers why don't you chapter 11, verse 34. Verse 34. Verse number 4. 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 Verse number I'm have a so it's not yes. a location no, where so Adam went. It is not a location where Abraham went. It is not a location where Muhammad was born and received the revelation. It is in Jerusalem. 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 He wants to go for He's a deceiver. No, He's a liar. So I, I He's a professional liar, liar for 40 years. Well, now you're going to take the new one. No, no. Yes, he, he is. is. There's, there's a study they've done. He's they've done math mathematical uh, he, calculations. He, he, no, he's not a Muhammad. He's not a Muhammad. 84. So you are agreeing with me? Islam 84, 4, 6, read it. So you are agreeing with me that Mecca is mentioned in the Old Testament? And we agree together, we must agree, Mecca is mentioned as a wounded plus and slaughter. Not a location, not a place. Did you catch that on it? Why did you hit me? No, no, don't touch him. I didn't touch him. I didn't touch him. This is typical Muslim reaction. So he hits me in the face twice. But am I going to hit him back? Because I love Jesus! So let's go on. He just, let's continue on. I'm not talking anymore to you. Please don't do that. I put my hand in his face so he slaps me. That's threatening. This is typical Muslim behavior. That's right. Am I threatening right now? Walk away, please, Walk away. Walk away. Walk away. Walk away. Walk away. Walk away. If you're so violent, if you have no backbone, then all you can do is walk away. You don't need to stay here. We're going to talk to adults here, not to children like this. Go ahead. So, now, you don't have Mecca mentioned before the time of Muhammad as a location, as a place. You don't have any scripts regarding the Mecca. We don't have any Jay. coins from Jay. 7th century linked with Muhammad and the Mecca, then we have a problem. You have a huge problem. We can't find him in the Bible. We can't find him on the coins. We can't find him on the rock inscriptions. We can't find it anywhere. so close. Sir? But you purposely did it. No, you purposely did it. Shame on you. Shame on you. I'm not Allah. Let's continue on. I'm not Allah. All right, let's can you see. Now I want you to look at this picture here. Why are you so close? Let's finish this one right now, right? And here's the crowning achievement. When you look at a modern day of Mecca today, you notice all the great big buildings they're now building. 62 skyscrapers. This one here is the fourth highest in the world. Sir, sir. Show your hands up. Sir, hands away the camera. Sorry. Sir. And when you look at that, sir. you have to build, you have to dig deep, don't you, Martin? You have to have foundations for buildings that are that high. So, the problem so when you dig deep, you find artifacts, do you not? You should be able you to. You should find all kinds of artifacts. Yeah. And especially of Mecca. If it's the oldest city, Hatun, this way. Look, look, this if it's the oldest city in the history of mankind, there should be some artifacts there, correct? Yeah, you, would have, you, you should be able to find the civilization from them. You should be able to find references to Muhammad, to Adam, to Abraham. But
if it goes have. back even 1900 BC when Abraham was there, there should be hundreds of artifacts, right? Yeah, what do we have? So Dan Gibson went to a meeting in Dubai Why and he you? asked the archaeologists, uh, you've been doing all this digging, what have you found? You know what they answered him? Nothing. Yeah. They found an Ottoman fort from 1299. AD, not BC, Hatu. Sorry, my team is there, Jay. I, I, I am mad. That is the 13th is century. 84. That is the 13th yeah. century AD. That's the first it's reference not, they could find for anything 84. in Mecca. It was an it's Ottoman not fort. 84. Well, Ottoman it's Ottoman Ottoman fort. It's not 84. So that, Ottomans came to power in 1299, right? That's okay. So it's not a problem for you. No, it is not a problem uh, for me. So it confirms Hatun. Ottomans were he existed. Will go back to United but States. it discredits the Ottoman Where is Mecca? So, 1300s, 632, Jane. 600 years, Smith. and nothing linked with the nothing time of Nothing there from the 7th century. Nothing there from the 8th century. Nothing there from the 9th century. Not until the 13th century do you Smith. find any artifacts, and it's an Ottoman fort. That doesn't look good at all. It doesn't look good for Muslims. Can, Can you see why we're doing this? Can you see why he doesn't Jay want to Smith. talk about this? Jay he Smith. wants to deflect. Jay he Smith. wants to get off the subject. He wants to talk about anything Slam. but this. 84. And he wants to yell my name six. over and over again. Jay Smith. We've already got Isaiah 42. Four, and we've just six. moved him with that, have Jay we not? Smith. Can you see Jay the Smith. problem? They don't know what to Jay do with Smith. the evidence. So, Jay. Hatu, let me see this. No what are all these cranes doing God. here? So, all evidence we have is the evidence that Mecca was not historical place according as the Islam states. That's the evidence. There's the evidence. Can you see that they are now craning up? That means they're building buildings all around it. Why do you think they're building buildings and cementing the whole area? Why do you think that's going on? So they're hiding because they know there is no history in Mecca. Yes. And so if you, you don't have nothing. any history in Mecca, you don't have Muhammad. And if you don't have Muhammad, you don't have the Quran. And if you don't have the Quran, you have no Islam. Bye bye Islam. Bye, 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 bye. There is no history for Islam. There is no history for Muhammad. There is no history for the Quran. There is no history for Mecca. That's the book the man in the place. All three are gone out the window. That's why we're talking about Mecca. So while, while history tells us Mecca is not the place as Muslims are stating today, then we are kind of thinking that Muslims are looking for home. They are looking at the place where they want to belong to. But all the place they can be belong to is a person called Lord Jesus Christ. Why are you hurt home? Why are you hunting for location? Why are you trying to dig deep into things? All you can find, all you can get is Lord Jesus Christ. He doesn't give you meat but he offers his life for you. He already offered his life for you. He offers his life for you. He already offered his life for you. Okay, can you now see? And now you're getting their attention, they're going to come back. Just don't do it. We appreciate it. Okay, can you see now, Hutton? They've got a problem here. I Do we the have problem. the same problem with Jesus? Jesus you have big problem with Jesus. Jesus. You have big problem because he's not Oh, the they one. asked the question, he, didn't they? Jesus. In the 1800s, they asked the same question Jesus. of Jesus Christ. They asked and said, did he exist? And they asked, did he actually Jesus. live in Beth Bethlehem and grow up in Nazareth? Born in Bethlehem, grew up in Nazareth, and died in Jerusalem. Those are three the historical Lord, questions, are they not? No, no, and you no need one. to ask that Jesus, question about anybody did, who is historical. Don't just stop with Jesus. Did, 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 they asked that about the, the of Abraham. Lord. They asked that about Moses. They wanted to know if the Old Testament was correct. And in every case, we have found evidence for Abraham, for Moses, for Joseph, and especially for Jesus. And one of the best places to find the evidence is right here in the British Museum. God bless you, British.
You stole everything and brought it to one building and put it in the British Museum not, not everything, so most that of. we can look at it. Most of things. Not most of it. Uh, this is called hyperbole. Why don't you? Sir, why don't you? Why don't you be kind? Why are and British, for me British, slam, British Museum screams out the reliability of the Christian secret child? Why people buy places and buy dates? It is said that we cannot do that to Islam because, because Islam has. When it, it comes to the historical side, from there is no you. ground to hold on. He wants yeah. all he no. all in, your in the British Museum, you have the Newsy tablets. Yeah. You have the Mari tablets. You have the Ebla tablets. Three genre of tablets that all support who Abraham was, what kind of customs existed at his time, yeah. and also they come from the same time period Abraham lived, because and from the same area, Mesopotamia, where Abraham grew up and proving that Abraham did not come from Mecca, he came from Mesopotamia. It's not only that, there is a huge room called Sea of Earth where Abraham came from. Look, Sir Leonard Woolley is the one that uncovered it in the last century. And he has found the city of Ur. And is the city of Ur in Mecca? No. The city of Ur is in southern Iraq, hundreds of miles away and hundreds of miles to the east. So can you see, when you look at the Bible and you look and ask the same questions, we know who Abraham was, we know where he lived, we know where he died, we know also who Moses was, we know where he lived. Folks, we even know where Joshua lived because we now have the Amarna tablets that prove that Joshua did live in 1400 BC, along with Moses before him. What do they have for Muhammad from the seventh century, just 1400 years ago? See, we're talking about 1400 BC. That's 3,400 years ago, and we can come up with reference after reference for Abraham, for Moses, for Joshua, and especially for Jesus. In British Museum, not we only have the locations and address to um, information about people, but also we know who those people are pointing to. They are pointing to Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus! Do you notice everything that we're talking about today? We're confronting Mecca for a reason. Because no one wants to confront the Muslims on this. I, I confront and you. And we are the ones that I are confronting confront him. You. And he cannot even answer the question. <laughs> he he just focuses and focuses and deflects and deflects. He's he not even heard what we said today. He's which is typical of most I asked Muslims. Him. I asked but we're him asking me. this question I asked because him we've me. been asked this, has we not? I've been for half an hour. And every we think we see about Abraham, everything we see about Moses points to one person. And who is it they point to? Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus. Jesus. Amen. 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 Who is the King of Kings? Jesus. Who is the Lord of Lords? Jesus. Who is God in heaven? Jesus. Who is God on earth? Jesus. Who died on the cross? Jesus. Who then rose again? Jesus. Who now is in heaven? Jesus. Who waits for you and me? Jesus. Who wants to bring you home? Jesus. What's his name? comes back to Jesus, Hatun. Well done to you. Even when we talk about Mecca, it comes back to Jesus. It's not only we like well that name. You. You like that battle. one long no does not forgive nothing. himself for us. Jesus, that you. one long does enough to offer us place, not such a Mecca, not no such a location, but place in the bosom salvation. of his and father. That's the one we want to spend our eternity. That's the one he wants every human being to come and dwell with him. That's the one gave his life on the cross for you so that he can turn to him. That is the one who loves you enough to ask you to be his. It all comes back to Jesus. God bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ, come on back to him. Because that's the only name you can be saved by. What's his name again? Jesus.